Hello everybody, here is Jesset.com and today we are going to test a multi-purpose display unit from NAC Display Solution, which features a high-quality IPS matrix and 4K Ultra HD resolution. Not so long ago we had a review on the monitor unit Isoforce FS2434 and experienced a real Japanese quality. This time we offer a model from another famous Japanese manufacturer, NEC Display Solution. Despite the fact that the display unit NEC Multisync EI275UHD was assembled in China, the company adheres to a strict quality control system. Let's consider the monitor benefits for a buyer. Firstly, it is based on a high-quality IPS panel with a diagonal of 27 inches and the 4K Ultra HD resolution. Secondly, it has two useful sensors, a human proximity sensor and an ambient light sensor. The monitor comes in a regular carton which does not feature much of an informational content and of colorful printings. The supply site includes all the required components. We should bring to note the control sync cable that we haven't met before with any monitor unit. It implements an interesting technology of the same name. The monitor external interfaces include two 2.5 mm control sync in out connectors. The cable and the connectors are designed for transferring the settings to another monitor or this model setting from another one. It works in a very simple way. After a monitor calibration, you should activate the control sync technology and then the settings are automatically transferred to another unit and then to the others in chain order. In this way, you can connect up to six monitors and it will save the time for their adjustments if you just want all of them to display the same image quality. The exterior design of the model from NAC Display Solution is quite restrained and functional. It doesn't feature any specific and pretentious widgets such as a frameless profile or an innovative leg stand, although it is unlikely to be dull or out of time. The assembly quality is less of a problem, the plastic is of good quality and we didn't find any engineering drawbacks. You can adjust the height of the display unit and tilt it or rotate by various angles. Also, it has the cable holder, which ensures a neat arrangement of your workspace. By the way, the new model has two built-in speakers with a total power of 2 watts. They do not perform a high audio quality, although you can use them for a job as beginner-friendly desktop speakers, which will also save an additional valuable space. You can remove the stand and mount the monitor on a wall by means of VESA mounting bracket. A set of external interfaces includes video ports TVID, display port and HDMI, two 3.5 mm audio jacks, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 interface and two 2.5 mm control sync in out connectors. Also, there is the Kensington lock on the case. The monitor front frame includes the above mentioned sensors, the human sensor and ambient light sensor, the mode LED and 8 touch sensitive buttons for menu navigation. They have rather short response time, so you will be quite comfortable to use them. NEC Display Solution has equipped its own product with a very flexible and well-designed menu. It presents an amazing variety of available features. You can find here tuning of standard parameters, activation of default color profiles, as well as adjustment of the built-in sensors and the mode light indicator, volume control, sleep timer configuration and many others. If desired, you can even feature CO2 saving and calculate economy cut with the automatic brightness control, by indicating the electricity cost before. By the way, the human sensor and the ambient light sensor operation is quite correct and causes no complaints. In short, the menu makes a pleasant impression with its completeness and variety of function. The new product has 8 color profiles. In total, the default calibration is fairly good. The minimum brightness might 251.9, while the maximum 402.8 candelas per square meter, are the typical value claimed at 350 units. The static contrast ratio did not reach the nominal value of 1000 to 1. And settings of color rendition and Adobe RGB and sRGB color gamma are of a fair level, although nominally this monitor does not belong to the professional series. 
We should also draw your attention to Dicom SIM profile, which matches the medical standard and provides X-ray image viewing. All over again, this feature spotlights a high multitasking level of the tested monitor. In general, we should specify a very correct precise setting of color and shade mapping. Obviously, Dicom SIM profile had two indicators beyond the maximum value of 4, but the other settings are off the charts in relation to the recommended values. We have RGB levels within the normal range for such profiles only as sRGB, default, programmable and Dicom SIM for the most part. But as can sense 1, 2, 3 and 5 modes, then you can have a significant prevalence of one of the components featuring a substantial reduction of the second one. We are likely to consider that this was made by design to ensure more cold or warm image. Also, gamma curve graphs are not ideal, but there are no any critical comments. Profiles 1, 2, 3 and 5 and sRGB have gamma curves passing just a bit above the reference black line, which may cause a slight overlighting of grey tones and a partial loss of details in bright parts of the image. Default and programmable profiles have gamma curves fairly close to the reference black line. The further performance testing of NEC Multisync EI275 UHD monitor was based on Profile 3. The brightness range was from 24 to 441 candelas per square meter, which should provide a convenient operation in a dark room and in the bright sunlight. As you can see, the maximum rate is significantly higher than the declared value of 350 units. The static contrast range from 811 to 1 to 827 to 1, which is slightly lower than the nominal value 1000 to 1. As you can see, the hardware calibration has yielded the positive results, such as an improved sRGB and Adobe RGB space coverage, the color temperature stabilization, an increased accuracy of color and shade mapping, as well as a significant improvement of RGB levels and gamma curves arrangement. Therefore, if possible, be sure to carry out the calibration. The file with the appropriate parameters is available via the link in the video description. The test with fillings did not reveal any crucial problems. Small backlight leaks can be observed around the screen on a black background only, but they do not significantly affect the comfort viewing. NEC Multisync AI275 UHD uses an IPS matrix with a claimed response time of 5 milliseconds. The testing confirms rather high speed of its operation. The loops of small moving objects are small and artifacts are missing. That is, the new display unit is even suitable for dynamic games or movies. The new monitor implements an IPS matrix with the climb viewing angles of 178 degrees. Although an uncomfortable whitening and a yellowish tint was observed when viewed from sharp angles diagonally. In fairness, we know that these are untypical viewing angles and the ergonomic stand will promote adjustment of the most comfortable screen position. And now it's time to line up the results. 27-inch monitor NEC Multisync EI275 UHD is based on a high-quality IPS panel with 4K Ultra HD resolution and features a high brightness level of up to 400 candelas per square meter. Also, we were pleased with precise rendition adjustment of primary colors and a relatively high coverage of sRGB and Adobe RGB spice. In addition, we should also note the available Dicom SIM profile, which matches the medical standard and ensures viewing X-ray images. The matrix speed makes 5 milliseconds. The testing showed that it is quite capable to cope fairly well with displaying dynamic scenes of games and movies. The monitor built-in sensors, human proximity sensor and ambient light sensor, are of special attention. They ensure energy saving and provide optimum image brightness. The additional advantages include the well-designed menu, functional leg stand, a wide range of external interfaces and available configuration transfer to five connected monitors by means of control sync function. The negative aspects are a small backlight leakage around the perimeter and a yellowish tint when viewed from sharp diagonal angles. But these drawbacks are unlikely to be of a crucial nature. The main point is about the cost. The suggested retail price is $799, and in our country it costs approximately $1,400, which does not give it a chance to compete with cheaper analogs. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.